I am a writer, which, I suppose, means I put words on paper in some kind of order and they make sense. But before the words even come to appear, thoughts have to take place, which also means that some kind of information processing needs to happen inside my head. This is where it gets interesting because, like most of us, I cannot divorce what I do for a living from who I am as a person. I see the world in terms of patterns, which means that my books are an expression of the insights I gather as I organize the information I come across or have access to in the course of my consulting with large corporations. And just to see how all this leads from one event to another, one dot joining another dot somewhere next, consider that when Google semantic search was written, I often mentioned that who you are and what you do are key to succeeding in search. Why? Because at the point where semantic search indexes information, the details of who you are and what drives you become critical in creating confidence in the results that search engines like Google index. The only viable shortcut available to creating an immediate connection and establishing trust on the web is through visual contact, which is what Google Plus Hang Hangouts for Business was all about. In it, I explored how video contact is a semantically dense environment where visual as well as auditory information is exchanged and connections are established at a very human level. The book Google Plus Hangouts for Business, how to use Google Plus Hangouts to improve brand impact, build business and communicate in real time, was a direct follow-up building on the same ground and material of Google Semantic Search, though outwardly one seemed to be about search and the other one about video conferencing. The connecting thread here is our activities, or rather our thoughts which direct and control our activities. In the digital domain, whether we are talking about search, video conferencing or branding, everything happens by choice. And there is a reason for everything, which means that our actions are governed by intent. Intent is driven by our understanding of how things work, our perception of the value of different activities and connections and our motivation. This brings us back to the granularity of things, the whole reason semantic search came about, the reason transparency is happening and, to get a little technical, the reason why structured data across the web is so important. In order for information to be trusted, it has to be corroborated by sources that are independent of it. The corroboration is provided by the relational connections of those who see the information being shared from, let's say, the website of a business and then engage with it. When people across the web comment and then share that information across their own social network and circles of contacts, they add, in their own fashion, their own machine-readable assessment of its validity, freshness and importance. Intent is translated into action, and action means activities which are translated into data. The metadata of those activities is then analyzed for motivation. And, in this fashion, we make the transition that Google calls from strings to things, from abstract code to a clearer understanding of what things, places and people actually are. SEO Help, 20 semantic search steps to help your business grow, is a step-by-step -step practical blueprint on how to help your business gain in search without increasing the workload for you and your team. It built on the previous two books to create a very accessible guide to today's search for beginners and experienced people alike. It would, of course, have been impossible had there not been the stepping stones of the two books that preceded it, which laid the groundwork, introduced fresh concepts and framed the challenges facing businesses in the digital world of today. In the process of all these books being written, the online world changed into one driven by the attention economy. Put simply, this means that unless you have someone's attention, all the marketing, advertising and promotion is unlikely to convert into sales the way you think. As the number of distractions available increases and technology allows the individual to pack more and more into the 24-hour day, the limiting factor is the amount of attention available to give to anyone. Holding someone's attention is important. 
but attention that is not also accompanied by trust is useless. It literally does not last and it will not result into any meaningful action. Trust then is how you monetize the attention economy. Trust is how you create a discernible return on investment for social media activities. And trust is what I have indirectly been talking about pretty much since I started writing about technology and the web. Trust also happens to be the subject of my latest book titled The Tribe That Discovered Trust, how trust is created, propagated, lost and regained in commercial interactions. This kind of brings us full circle. Having someone's attention is useless if they do not trust you. In order for someone to trust you, they need to understand who you are and what you do, which means they really need to understand your motivation. By being able to show who you are and what you do, you create transparency that leads to better understanding of motivation that helps you build lasting, mutually beneficial relationships, which lead to a better reputation, which leads to success.